guys, welcome in. Happy Thursday. It is a Star Wars night, but unfortunately we don't have tickets for tonight. Um, we do have tickets for another night uh, in May, but not tonight. So tonight is going to be a little crazy, a little hectic, a little unusual for us, but that's okay. We're going to make the most of it. Um, we're going to start out here in Disneyland, and then I figure we'll hop over to DCA in a little while. Um, maybe roll the color. I don't know. What do you guys think? And then most likely we'll go check out some merch along with every other content creator over at World of Disney after DCA closes. Um, for those of you that are really wanting to see Star Wars night, um, my friend, uh, Barry Place 28 Bob, he will be here um, covering the event tonight. So if that's something you want to catch, be sure to tune into him. Um, he'll be here enjoying the night. So, but beyond that, I figure um, we'll try and cover what we can and just kind of see where the night takes us. Um, I am by myself right now. <clears throat> Jordan's back at work and Anthony will be here later after he gets off of work. So, but I do have our first uh, ride booked, our usual. So we'll head there. Hey, Kathy. Hey, Hector. Hey, Jacob. Hey, Jetta. Hey, Leslie. Hi, I'm Right. Happy Thursday to you too. Hi, Christy. Oh, oh, and I did see your message, Christy. I didn't want to jinx it. So I would have started the stream a little earlier, but I had to go to Lost and Found because ta -da, I got the phone back. So yay, good news. So happy, happy day. Um, so I didn't want to say anything beforehand and jinx it. I'm like so superstitious with stuff like that. It's ridiculous. But anyway, um, hey, Jennifer. Alrighty. Hey, Miss Muffin. Thank you. Um, I didn't see any characters, Jacob, but we can definitely check when we head back that way to go over to DCA. We'll definitely check them. Uh, Jennifer says, hey, mods. Kathy said, love your outfit. Thank you. This um, shirt is currently available at heruniverse.com. Super comfy, super lightweight. Um, great like spring and even like a light summer one. If you want to avoid getting sunburned, it's a, a great one. So, but thank you. Hey, e-ticket, aloha. Let's see, Jennifer says hello, everyone. Christy said, I don't know, Christy, I don't know. Um, Jacob Hector's at work, my friend. Hector says, woohoo. I know, I know, but I, I don't know where to put it so it's accessible. That's the only problem. I'm just going to have to be really careful when I'm getting in and out of rides to not turn the bag. I've never had that problem before. So, hi, Ada. No parade, Jacob. So we, we missed the first parade. The first parade was around three. So no parade, unfortunately, guys. I know, super bummer. I have fanny packs, Christy. All right, guys. So I need to send a quick text message because I just got two phone calls. So let me just send a quick message and then we'll go on about our day. Okay. Text message sent. Sunglasses on. Let's go. I'm gonna flip you guys around. Are you wanting to watch World of Color tonight? Do you want to pass and go on some rides instead? I might ask that a few times just to kind of get the general consensus as the night progresses. But I am very curious. Oh, Chrissy, my shirt, it's like the Fab Five. So you have Pluto, you have Mickey, you have Goofy, Minnie, and Donald all over it. Uh, no, Jacob. Here, let me, I'll flip you guys around and I'll show you close up of the design. I don't know if you can see it in the sun. There you go. So all the different characters are on it. Hey, Rob La. Kathy said, we're the color. Uh, 
uh, Jenna said bright, Ada said vulgar color. We haven't done that in a while. <laughs> Rob Law said let's do both somehow. Magic, Disney magic. We could kind of do that. We could go on like the Zephyr or something. Um, Christy said I haven't seen it for a while so it would be nice. Let's go with this way so we're not in anyone's pictures. Uh, Leslie said, Howdy friends. We're ready to get the night started, but please remember to hit the like button and show our favorite cowgirl some love. Christy said, Very nice. I like it. Hey, Rodolfo. Welcome in. He said, Howdy, howdy, everybody. <laughs> I can try, Jacob, if the line's not too crazy. Hey, Caleb, how you doing, hey, Snoopy? All right, you guys. So what do we think about Disney Forward getting pushed through? Are we excited? I mean, the construction wouldn't happen until It'd probably be a good 20 or more years out, but there's no lights out. She's lovely. So beautiful. <laughs> hey, Ange, welcome in. I'm hoping my voice holds out tonight, guys. My allergies have been terrible the last week. And my throat has been so irritated from the post-nasal drip. I've been taking medicine like crazy, but it's just not helping. I feel like ever since COVID, my allergies have been out of control. I don't know if that's something that everyone else has experienced, but I've noticed, like, I used to have some allergies, but nothing like I have ever since COVID. <laughs> hey, Jordan. He's a hi, bye. <laughs> hey, Luke Laris Goose, welcome in. How are you doing tonight? Hey, Christina H. She said, hi, everyone. All right, let me bring up our little dealio here. Since we don't have a ton of time in Disneyland tonight, are there any rides that everyone wants to try and catch? Hi. Thank you.
just not used to being out here during the day. Definitely no clouds today. right now. Anthony will be here later. Uh, Christy, probably not. I'm usually here Saturdays. Nine to for Life said, hi y'all. Right, Chris and Ira, notification I did not get. Hello, folks. Welcome in, Chris. Hey, Joey. How you doing tonight? Steven says, one more May in 2024, I graduate. Congratulations, Steven. Jennifer said, hi, everyone. Make sure to smash that like button on your way in. I'm by myself, Garrison. Says, I swear, Peter Pan gets faster every time we ride it. I know, it's such a quick ride. Joey says, hey, what up? Bright day, Disneyland. Very bright day. Hey, Daniel Berry Sports Highlights, welcome in. He said, happy Thursday, everyone. Yes, yeah, no white road, Joey. Hey, Terry Javia, how are you doing tonight? said, hi Katie and everyone, thanks for the live stream. Greetings from Arizona. Hope you're doing great out there in Arizona, Terry. And just requested pirates. Hey there, mystery guests. How you doing, friend? Welcome in, Daisy. She said, hello, Karen and everyone. Yes, Garrison, Anthony will be here later once he gets off of work and heads down this way. Everyone's saying hi to one another. Hey, Journey's Out Loud, how are you doing? And how's the wee baby boy doing? Welcome in. She says, hi, Miss Katie. Hi, everyone again. Um, I'll be here this weekend, Jacob. I don't know if I'll be live or not. If I am, it'll be on Saturday. But I don't know yet if I'll be live or not. I am good, Carmen. How are you? <laughs> Caleb with the churro request. When are you going to be here again, Caleb? 
Carmen said, how's everyone doing today? We need a, a churro toast, Caleb. A cheering with, cheersing with our churro. Say that 10 times fast. Stanley says, hi, get a dole whip. do you sound good. <laughs> Leslie. Add me a churros. Right? Say less. Caleb, have you had the churros in DCA? Um, the Eclair churro? It is otherworldly. It is so incredibly good. It's like you thought they couldn't improve upon perfection and Disney was like, wait, watch this. Music, Rob Law. He said, Say less is my new band name. Is it like ASMR music? And she says, I want to try the cannoli churro. It is so good, guys. So now I'm like craving it now that I'm talking about it. one um, uh, directly across from Schmoozie's over in Hollywoodland. What, Chris? Chris, that is like illegal. Justin Ray can tell you. Like, that was the requirement when he came to Disney this last time. He had to get a churro. You can't call yourself a true Disney fan if you've never had a Disneyland churro. Because all other Disney churros are not up to par compared to the Disneyland churros. Fighting. <laughs> Chris said, I never realized, I just realized I've never had a churro. I've been to Disneyland a lot, but never had a churro. We will rectify that, Chris. When you come out here, that'll be like the first thing on our list. I don't care if it's like 9 a.m., you're getting a churro. Breakfast of champions. Backstreet Boys covers. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no wonder they're called Say Less. <laughs> Harrison said April 3rd was Eddie Murphy's birthday. He is the voice of Mushu and Mulan and Jimmy Evers in the 2003 Haunted Mansion. Daddy! Harrison said April 4th was Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man's birthday. <laughs> What, Chris? You've never had a churro? Okay, wait. I don't understand how when you live in California, you never had a churro. I understand where you're currently at, but you used to live in California. Granted, it was NorCal, but still. Carmen, that doesn't surprise me, though. There's so many things in Disney you haven't done, Carmen. I think the list of things you haven't done is longer than the list of things you have done. If you ever make it back in the park, you're going to have such a long list to tick off. Hey Robin, welcome in. She said, hi Katie, Anthony Mods, and Chad. I agree, Ange, the Disneyland ones are the best. Theme park casual. That's it. We're going to have a churro duel, my friend said, love the fresh made churros at Knott's. Disneyland Fresh are better. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hey, Nate, welcome in. He said, fair to say after opening night that Disney has officially ruined Star Wars. I know. I, I, 
I hope they realize that they broke something that was glorious and that they uh, rectify it for next year. But, you know, we made the most of it. We still had so much fun. Christy says, are they better? I miss Costco churros. It's impossible, Christy. They can't be better than Disneyland churros. It's, it's humanly impossible. Chris said, I always went for the Dole Whip or the frozen apple juice. Okay, the Dole Whip I can get behind. The frozen apple juice is all right. Rapunzel's tower is that lights up with her hair. But unfortunately, it cannot be mobile ordered. You have to wait in line for that one. But they also sell the, um, the garlic cheesy pretzel bread there. So, you know, you could kill two birds with one stone. Get you some bread and some apple juice. Harrison said, today is my favorite actor, Rick Moranis' birthday. He's the voice of Brett in The Brother Bear and Dr. Selensky in Honey, I Shunt the Kids. But I do not like him for either of those. Oh my gosh. Carmen said, I love Costco churros. They're the best churro ever was eating. Oh, Carmen, if you think those are the best, then you definitely need to try a Disneyland one. No, it's not a frozen juice box, Chrissy. It's like almost like um, soft serve. Almost like an icy, but it's apple juice. Chris said, what, we still have it? Have what, the Dole Whip? Absolutely, and the apple juice. Stanley says, I love Dole Whip. Hey, Evelyn, welcome in. She said, hello, Katie. Chrissy said, Carmen, they don't make Costco churros anymore. Well, that's right, I think they got rid of them, didn't they? Like, replace them with a cookie or something? I haven't been to Costco in a minute. And only ask what's your precious children of yours. I'm your way now. It's good to for Dumbo, for the teacups, and for pirates. Anything else? Yeah, I don't know why chocolate chip cookies. That's so odd. Chris says, the apple juice, it's been years. Yes, they still have it there. I believe it's only available at Maurice's Streets, though, I believe. Oh, Chrissy, I don't know if we can do that because it's Star Wars night, so we have to leave by 8. And we'll probably leave a little bit before that so we're not stuck in the huge crowd of um, everyone trying to do a mass exodus out of the park. Alright guys, I'll get caught up with the chat afterwards. Welcome in.
Good friends, Carl and Kiko Adventures. They're an East Coast streamer. Be sure to check them out, guys. All right. Well, let me get out of the crowd and I will get caught up on the chat. Welcome in, Nessa. Nessa said, hi, Katie. Hello. Oh, there goes my voice again. <clears throat> Goodness. But happy to have you here at the Disney Baker. They said Ch East Coast checking in from Orlando. Christy said, oh shoot, that's right. Yeah, these uh, Star Wars nights are going to be uh, our kryptonite. Thank you for the like to Disney Baker. And she says, darn Star Wars night. Stanley said, hi everyone, let's get Cowgirl to 4K. Uh, Nessa said hello to the chat. Ada said, oh, okay, no worries, Ada. Nate said, I've never been to Disney, so I really love these streams. Thank you for sharing these. Thank you for being here, Nate. Appreciate you. Ada said, peanut. Rob Law said, it's a great disguise, to be honest. All right, let me see if it is time for us to go. Ooh, I we can check in. Let's see. So we'll do Alice really quickly and then we can hop on the teacups. Someone requested those. Hi. Thank you. said, I love Snow White. Garrison said, Pinocchio and Mr. Toad. Ooh, we'll try, we'll try. It's a lot to try and squeeze in, but we can try. Hey there, Antonio, welcome in. He said, hi everyone. Nessa said, while on the ride, it's a bit fast, while watching it from home, it's much slower. <laughs> I know, blink and you miss it, right? All right. I am right now Niner Guy for Life. Uh, Anthony will be here later. Jordan's at work, so maybe we can pop over and say hi to him on a break or something. Hey, Nancy, welcome in. She said hello, Katie. Carmen said I have an interview at Knott's next Tuesday, Miss Katie. Oh, fingers crossed for you, Carmen. Hey, Mike Skellington, welcome in. Tyler said, hi guys, happy Thursday. Happy Thursday to you too, Tyler. Hope you're having a great one. Carmen said, oh no, the teacup's right, Miss Katie. How fun. <laughs> I can hear your enthusiasm, Carmen. <laughs> Carmen. Turn these out loud. Mr. Toad's water. Okay, but someone hold my phone. <laughs> hey, Queen of Hearts. Welcome in. She said, hello, Katie. Looks crowded today. Enjoy your day. Yeah, it's, it's busy right now, but it's also the mix-in. So you have regular theme park guests as well as the Star Wars night guests that are both here. So it's extra crowded at the moment. Oh! Are you? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, 
I, I'm currently on YouTube though. I'm oh, streaming on YouTube. YouTube, but I have both. What's your handle? Uh, Main Street Cowgirl. Oh, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm sure I've seen it. Give me one second, I can get you some stickers. One sec, chat. Are you visiting from Australia? Yeah. How long are you here for? All up 10 days. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow, very nice. Is today your first day here? Yes. How fun. First time oh my gosh, are you enjoying it? This has been my dream. Oh my goodness. Whereabouts in Australia are you from? Sydney, oh my gosh. Sorry guys, I know it's getting shaky. I'm trying to get these stickers out for <laughs> Thank you oh, so much. So sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. Enjoy your stay. You. You're very welcome. Hello there. So you found your way to Wonderland. Sorry guys. Your safety. Please remain seated. I'm trying to juggle three things. Arms, feet, and legs inside the And I am not a juggler. Watch your children. By any stretch of the imagination. I did gaming with James. I did. I went today before the stream and um they had found it, thank goodness. Uh, Chrissy, I can try if we have time. Yes, I got the phone, I got the phone. <laughs> hey, Ashley, I, I, I almost said it. Ashley Oki, here we go, I'll say it anyway. She said, hey everyone, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Thank you, Ash, I hope you are as well. Welcome in. Hey there, Dan Kelly, welcome in. Dan said hello. This one. Genesis. Cheerio. Thank you. Uh, probably a churro, Dan. Can't go wrong with a good old churro. Genesis. Cheerio. <laughs> She's a <like>, cookie. <laughs> hey, gaming with James. Welcome in. All right, guys. Enjoy the ride. I'll get up, caught up with the chat afterwards. Look into the white rabbit. Wow. See for yourself. Oh, Mr. Rabbit. Wait. Please. It went this way. Oh, well, that's not very important. Aussie, Aussie, Aussie. <laughs> I know. 
No, Carmen, I will hold my phone. I, I did get my phone back, everyone. Yes. <laughs> That's what I thought, Mike Skellington. Hey, Sherman, 42, welcome to Sydney. and said, everyone, hit the like button. Trinity said, that's it. Disneyland churros are the best. I agree. Carmen said, I will let you know how the interview went next Tuesday on IG. Okay, Miss Katie? Okay, Carmen. Sounds great. Leslie said, howdy. 127 friends in the chat. If you're enjoying the stream, please remember to hit that like button. Yeehaw! Gimme James says, what do you think about Disneyland Forward? I'm excited for it. I'm not looking forward to the construction aspect of it because it's going to um, cause a lot of disruption for everyone in between now and then um, because parking structures and parking lots are going to get tore up. They're going to have new ones being built. Um, it's going to be a lot of chaos and I think you're going to have a lot of people being very frustrated um, until the opening date. So. It'll definitely be interesting. All right, someone requested teacups, so we'll hop on those. And then we'll head over and try and catch some of the other rides everyone's requested. Jim Cummings voices the Cheshire Cat on this yeah. ride, Pooh and Tigger on Winnie the Pooh, Hondo on Smuggler's Run, and probably others. Yes, so many, so, so many characters. It's incredible. Harrison said, that's the Goofy Yell. It was, yes. Niner Guy for Life said, nobody played for the giveaway, so but me, so I can win. Thanks. <laughs> Ash Yogi said, I always thought it would be so cute if Disney sold an Alice croquet set with a flamingo and hedgehog. I think at one point they did, um, or or some other company did, because I remember seeing one a long time ago, but it was very expensive, if I remember right. But they definitely should make it again. Carmen said, "Ah, thank you so much, Miss Katie. I love you. You're welcome, Carmen. Definitely sending you some good energy and luck and good vibes." Hey, EXP626, welcome in. They said, hey, Katie, Anthony, and friends. Hey, it is okay, back. Stanley says, hi, this is a great ride. I see, see y'all later. I gotta go to bed and go to work tomorrow. Okay, have a great night, Stanley. Thanks for hopping in here for a while. Welcome in, Stitch. Stitch said, hello, everyone. Carmen said, thank you so much, everyone. I really appreciate it. Hey, Ryan. Ryan, Rain, Rhiannon, Yannanan. How you doing? Ryan said, hey, mods in chat. Christy said, 138 people in the stream, so please hit that like button for Katie. Kelly Snyder, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Uh, Game with James says, what were your favorite things you saw at the Disneyland auction? Oh, that was a while ago. Um, goodness gracious. Obviously the ride cars. Um, oh, all the Haunted Mansion stuff. Um, some of the birds. They had animatronic birds. Uh, he's speaking about the Van Eaton Galleries auction, the uh, Disneyana auction that happened a while back. Was so so much cool stuff. 
Navidad permanece agitado y mantenga sus manos en los brazos y sus piernas sobre la casa. Here's a time to get dizzy at Disney. Stitch said, thank you, Miss Katie. You're welcome, Stitch. Hey, Nicholas Magical Adventure, welcome in. He said, hey guys, did you see the parade today? Unfortunately, no. The parade um, was around three and I was not able to make it in time for the parade. There's only one today right now. Hey, Sandra Chanel, welcome in, beautiful. Ryan said, had a long day, but happy to finally be resting. At least for the most part. Let me guess, you're gonna have fry bread for dinner. <laughs> Nicholas said, hi. Hey Kai, welcome in. Kai with the hand wave. Welcome in Mandarino Adventures. Hi Katie, mods and chats. How you doing tonight, Mandarino? Dee said, hello Katie, welcome in Dee's. Pearson said, the Alice in Wonderland music is an earworm. It is. Dee said, hello, everyone. Uh, no, I didn't try and get a refund gaming with James. They're pretty uh, tight-fisted when it comes to refunds. And the fact that we stayed the whole night, I highly doubt they would have even considered giving us anything. Ryan said, I had fried bread the other day. Today we had enchiladas and rice for dinner. Ooh, enchiladas, yum. EXP said, Alice music is great. It brings me to the first time I entered Disney. I know I love how for the most part the music doesn't really change on most of the attractions. So it's like, even if you haven't been here in years, as soon as you hear it, it's like you're back again, like you're home again, you know? Sandra Chanel said, happy Thursday evening at the greatest place on earth. Who <laughs> said Anakin was worth it? Anakin, we had um, Jedi Claws, and you know, like, Kanye was great for uh, people watching. Definitely entertaining. <laughs> Mentoring Adventures said, that's true. The sense of Disney trigger, happy memories. They do, I mean, I don't think it matters how long it's been since you've been to the park. As soon as you hear some of these songs, it's like you're a kid again, you know? Like you never left. It's really incredible. I was like, yeah, but I did not. Hey, Ray, welcome in. Ray said, hello. Okay, my James says, I listen to Disneyland music before I go to sleep. Now my question is, do you have Disney dreams? Fantrina said, you mean Star Wars night was not all about Kanye? <laughs> Notorious One said, I sincerely apologize for being late. I'm reporting for duty, Miss Katie. Welcome in, Notorious One. Garrison said, tomorrow is Hayden Christensen's from uh, Anakin Skywalker and the prequels birthday. Said, if it were for Kanye, he would have Star Wars night 
would have been $500 lol for him blessing us with his <laughs> well I guess I I didn't even pay attention to his whole entourage but I guess there were like some other rappers and other people with him as well um, I noticed on some other videos after the fact Natari said I thought that I had more time to gas up my car and get pizza for my favorite local pizza joint no worries Ryan said there were rumors that Aiden was going to voice Shadow in Sonic 3, but they gave the part to Keanu Reeves, another great choice. Can't argue with that. Uh, Nicholas said, hey Katie of Disneyland, could have a new night. What would you want it to be? I was thinking about Heroes vs. Villains night at either parks. Could work. What do you think? That would be a really cool night. I like that idea, Nicholas. I enjoyed Villains night when they had it. I wish they would bring Villains night back. Someone had said one time a haunted mansion theme night. I think that would be insane. Harrison said, Revenge of the Sith will be 20 years old next year. Nate said, We need Tay Tay at Disney. Lose their churros. Please hit the thumb before you jump. Oh dear. Uh, Mantrina said, I would like Halloween time and Oogie Boogie to have both. Carmen said, I wish they bring back Princess Night again, Miss Katie. I don't know, Carmen. Princess Night was kind of a flop. It was honestly kind of a disappointment. There were some things that were really cool, but I think overall people were kind of disappointed in it. So I, I would be surprised if they brought it back anytime soon. I think another fun one would be like a pirates theme night. I'm not sure how you would have those nights, like what you would do, but I think it'd be really cool. <laughs> Leslie says, 94 likes. Can we get to 100 likes? Nicholas said, what about Princess versus Pirates Night? That'd be kind of cool. Have the, the pirates coming and uh, kidnapping the princesses and taking all their, their treasures, their jewels. Be pretty funny. Oh no, someone lost their hat. Two men said, there's no place like home. We all need a place where we are welcome and loved. Main Street Cowgirl is such a place. No ruby slippers needed. Hit the like and be at home with Katie. Thank you, G-Man. Garrison said, everyone, hit the like button. <laughs> Alright, we'll just go in this one since it's right here. Andrina said, maybe Disney decades, each land rep a decade. Yeah, I, I had said for the last few years, I think it would be cool if they had 
like a Disney eras themed event, but have a different decade for each week. So like have two nights of like 1950s, two nights of the 60s, two nights of the 70s and so on. Um, you know, and have different characters and different costuming and theming. I don't know, I just thought it would be really cool. Have a most wonderful time. Ta-ta! Notoria said, or maybe instead of the standard princess, how about some of the lesser known ones like Pocahontas and Mulan? Garrison said, Jack Sparrow would make that very fun. Carmen said, I know, just wondering, that's all, but I feel they could have done better on Princess Night. I agree, Carmen. All right, guys, enjoy the ride. I'll get caught up with the chat afterwards. around what people want. Disney is all about the experience. Jimin says, good evening to all my fellow Main Street Cowgirl fans. Hey, Raging Rock, welcome in. I said, hi, Cowgirl and everyone. People have said, or it could be called Retro Night, maybe. Well, they had Throwback Night, which was like 50s themed. Oh. And said, um, I'd 
like to see more classic Disney characters, like from the old school cartoons. Carmen said, oh, Pirate Night could be amazing, Miss Katie. Do something special for a treasure hunt for downtown Disney. Raging Rose said, thank you to all mods and cowgirls. Nate said, that is deceptively fast. Carmen said, oh, fun ride. Yay, tickets are in good fun. And Disney. Nicholas said, to storybook or small world ride? We'll see what we can fit in, guys. Uh, Garrison said, what's the temp? Says it's currently 67 degrees. Human says, a multi-billion dollar industry all started by a mouse. I'll believe it when elephants fly. In 1957, ex-president Harry Truman refused to ride Dumbo because the elephant symbolizes the Republican Party. I remember hearing that. I thought that was so funny. Uh, Nicholas said, Retro Night could be anything before the 2000s. Ray Jean Rolf says, Dumbo, my grandson loved to ride. She said, opening in 1955, Dumbo is a Disneyland classic. For decades, the ride was crowned by Timothy Mouse, who originally held a whip. But now he tickles the baby flying pachyderms with a feather. Garrison said, it all started with the rabbit Oswald. like a watermelon color. All right, it's gonna get shaky for a minute while I get my seatbelt on, guys. This is your ringmaster, Timothy Mom. Now make sure your flight is safe. Be sure to stay seated with your seatbelt first. Uh, Niner Guy for Life, I have not, as of yet, um, not, and Six Flags are not allowed to stream, um, on the attractions, so you can only really stream walking around the park, um, or showing merch and food, so it kind of limits it. Disneyland is the only theme park. Um, I possibly, I'm not sure about Legoland. Um, but out of the three, out of Knott's, Six Flags, and Disney, Disney's the only one you can actually uh, stream the actual attractions on. So we haven't really gone over there. We were supposed to do Knott's back in January. I had tickets back in January um, that were only good that month, and then I got really sick. And then the weather was horrible, and I was like, I can't. I can't tempt it. So I'm not opposed to going, but um, we would only really be able to stream the actual theme park and not so much the attractions, unfortunately. I have debated the uh, Universal. I just know that the, the connection there is a lot more tricky.
right, Ada, you got your Dumbo fix. Just push it really hard. You're welcome. Alright guys, um, I think Toad might be down, so there's no line, unless it's a walk-on, which would be really odd. No, I think it's down. Yeah, Toad is down currently. Alright, come on. That girl that just walked in front of me, she had the frozen um, apple, ju apple juice that we were talking about earlier. Alright, since we're here, let's just do Pinocchio. Someone requested Pinocchio, and then we do have um, Pirates booked. So we'll head to Pirates afterward. James said the best after dark night is the 90s night Disney Channel night. For me, I loved Pride Night last year and I am excited for it this year. I'm a little nervous. I hope they don't um, change it up like they did Star Wars night. I'm hoping they keep it the same or very close to last year's because that was amazing last year. The music, the energy, the lights, just all of it. It was incredible. Um, and I personally, I loved Throwback Night. I love anything like 50s era. So that was right up my alley. And I love the super rare characters they had at it as well. Sorry guys, I know it's crooked right now. The gimbal's taking a minute to get adjusted after Dumbo. Um, Ross at Six Flags, it's fun times. Gaming with James says, I put you in my S tier ranking live streamers. Oh, very cool. Carmen said, I think Disney should do a princess day. Have a ladies dress up as their favorite princess. Miss Katie, that makes you, Carmen. I know they have meetups sometimes where um, people will dress up like them. I just love this ride, it's so cute. Carmen said, you film rides this week, but the one you can't film is the log ride. I've heard you can only do the train and the stagecoach, Carmen. That's what I've been told by other streamers. At Knott's. Victoria said, I, I concur, it's a very pretty day. Ventrina said, what's next? Uh, Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Uh, Ray G. Roth said, me too, cowgirl. Gar uh, Garrison said, I thought that King Kong was the eighth wonder of the world. Oh, well, just kidding. The wait times aren't too horrible right now. They're kind of on par with a normal park day so far. Um, I saw Toad down. That's all I really know that's down. Ray Jean said, carousel, please. Okay, we'll see if we can put it in. We've got quite a list of rides right now. <laughs> Leslie said, wow. <laughs> what the crap? Toad's down when you don't need it to be down. Uh, Mandrino, I currently, I have DOS. Um, I don't know as of right now if I'm going to qualify for the new setup though when they change it. Um, I have it for my anxiety and stuff right now. But like everyone else who currently uses DOS, I'm not sure if I'm going to qualify for it um, with the new system. So for Disneyland, it begins on June 18th. So the streams could be very different when it gets to that point because a lot of the rides, like Peter Pan, one of my favorites, um, I may not be able to do, which is really going to crush me. Queen of Hearts 
but this is the time of day when I like to sit along the rivers of America and just people watch. Chris said, cool, I'm glad they still have the apple juice. Tori said, Andre the Giant is the eighth wonder of the world. Chrissy said, was it hot for Pride Night, Katie, since it's in June? Doesn't that conflict with grad nights? Uh, it was hot last year, yes. And I anticipate it being hot this year, which bums me out because I found the cutest outfit to wear, and I think I would pass out if I tried to wear it. But um, it will probably be hot. And as far as it conflicting with grad nights, they just schedule grad nights around it. Carmen says that I hope Disney does a 2000s night, Miss Katie. They probably will in the future, but probably not anytime soon, Carmen. Hey, Jennifer P. Welcome in. We said hello, Katie Mons, and everyone. G-Man says this was the last Star Trek built in Fantasyland. After being a big hit at Tokyo Disneyland, Pinocchio was added here in 1983, replacing the Mickey Mouse Club Theater. Game with James says, I want a pirate's night. Are you sure? Hey Randy, welcome in. Say good evening, Katie, Mods, and chat. How you doing, Randy? Lizzie said 110 likes. Let's keep it going. Up, 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 and up. Garrison said, but not the standard downrides. In here, Pirates? Um, I haven't checked Indy yet, but Pirates was up. So fingers crossed it stays up for us. Carmen said, oh, okay, Miss Katie, because I've seen the Five Fires has filmed a few rides at Knott's. Some people can get a um, a media pass from Knott's, but you have to apply for it ahead of time and you're not guaranteed it. And even that's only good for certain attractions. So you have to jump through a lot more hoops to stream at Knott's. Um, and even then, it doesn't cover everything. It only covers a, a handful of attractions. And she's like, I heard about the disability changes. I'm going to have to look into it for my son. Yeah, the way it's currently worded is um, only those who themselves or their family members have uh, things like autism are going to qualify for the normal DOS. Um, as for any other disabilities, it's going to be on a case-by-case -case basis. It's all going to be done online now instead of in the park and online. It's just going to strictly be online. And it's going to be done through an outside company. Um, so I don't know. I've heard so many horror stories of people trying to apply for it online. Um, about it being an all-day process. About the system kicking them out several times and them having to restart the process. Um, connectivity issues. I I've heard the gamut. Um, I've heard people going through the process and then when they get here it's not loaded on their phone for them to actually use. Um, I have a lot of personal friends that have dealt with it and it's an absolute nightmare the way that it currently is set up online. So I'm hoping this outside company will be set up in a better uh, way than Disney currently is, but I'm, I'm nervous. I'm nervous for myself and I'm nervous for a lot of other people. Izzy says, hello Katie and friends. Welcome in Izzy. I don't know, Ada. We'll have to wait and see. It's it's gonna be. All right, guys. Enjoy the ride, and I'll get caught up with the chat after.
What's a good time, eh? Captain Raging Ralph said, I know with my disability, there's a lot of rides I can't ride. Yeah, unfortunately, they don't accommodate everyone. Like the treehouse, I know a lot of people are not going to be able to experience because there's no accommodations for it. There's no elevator or anything like that. So even something as simple as that, which is new, I mean, they literally just built it. Garrison said, thank you everyone for getting over 100 likes. Thank you everyone. Raging Ralph said, I'm disabled since 2002. Niner Guy for likes it. Hey Katie. Oh, I already answered that one. Uh, Chris said, not scary. It's fun though. I still haven't done not scary farm. All right guys, so this is where you would find the frozen apple juice. They have it listed as the Boysen Apple Freeze. It's six nineteen. So there you can see on the top right hand corner. This is actually the shortest I've seen this line in I don't even know how long. Normally that line's insanely long. Uh Randy said it's so as, as of now, it's only people with autism can get DOS. That's the way they have it worded. So, excuse me. But I'd imagine there's going to be a lot of other people included, but it may not be Dawson, it might be something else. Oh, 
oh, there's a hidden Mickey. Or a, not a hidden Mickey, but a Mickey made out of flowers. Sorry guys, squirrel. Uh, and says, my son is autistic and nonverbal. Yeah, so he would definitely qualify, but the way I understand it, you would have to apply online before your trip and go through the interview process. Um, I'm assuming it would be through the Disneyland app. They haven't really given a whole lot of great detail on it yet. I know currently that's how you do it, but I don't know what the new system's gonna be. But I'd imagine they're gonna have to start implementing it fairly soon, because I wanna say it's like 30 days before your trip you can apply. So if the, the new system begins June 18th, and that's right around the corner. And I know for Walt Disney World, it's even earlier than that. It's in May. Man, who was it? Let's go find the bad boys. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? Jordan said hi on lunch. Carmen said yay. Pinocchio, I just said yay. Jordan said, hi everyone. Carmen said, oh, skate wheel. Nate said, I was grumpy earlier, but the stream has cheered me up. Yay, I'm so happy, Nate. You can't be sad when you're enjoying Disney. Alrighty, guys. G-Man said, keep ride. But am I? felt that Pinocchio's performance was a bit wooden. Nate said, thanks guys. Yeah. Garrison said, Katie, do a pit check. Show us what you're wearing today. I kind of showed it at the beginning of the stream. I'll show after Pirates, if you guys like. Gaming with James says, I want to go to Universal Studios. Halloween Horror Night. Looks like a lot of fun. I did, Jordan, I got it. Victoria said, when you wish upon a star will always be an iconic Disney to make. Uh, no character shout over here, Jacob, right now. She went to the your left. Just before passing through the castle, it used to be Merlin's Magic Shop, where Steve Martin worked. It opened in 1955, and two years later, Main Street's Magic Shop opened. Merlin's closed in 1984. Nicholas said, hey guys, out of all the dark rides, which is your favorite in Fantasyland? Ooh. Um, Peter Pan for me. Uh, yes, tonight is the second Star Wars movie, Andy. And if you guys missed it earlier, um, I did mention that my friend, uh, Barry Place 28 Bob, he will be here streaming the event. So, if you guys want to catch some more Star Wars night. Be sure to tune in to him. He will be live on YouTube. 9 or 9.30. Okay, Jordan. Some friends can get scanned in and I'll get back on the chat. It'll be good for what? Uh, Marcella said, I didn't know DOS included anxiety. Yes, anxiety, claustrophobia. Um, it is like a case-by-case -case basis, so they'll talk to you about what, what triggers you, um, all of that. But again, that is not going to be part of the new system. So for me personally, um, I, there are certain attractions I could not go on without it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do when this new system goes into play. Like I personally cannot wait in the queue for it. Thank you. For the Jungle Cruise, if it goes upstairs, I get such crippling anxiety and claustrophobia up there. Um, I tried going in it one time when Indy reopened a couple of, like a year or a year and a half ago. And uh, I didn't know that the queue was gonna go up there. So at the time it wasn't. 
right when I got right in front of it, they opened the gate and had to go up there and I was like, it's okay, I can handle it, like I'm talking to myself. I was like, it's okay, you can handle it, you can work your way through it, because you're gonna be right in the front, you're gonna be right in the front. And then the ride broke down and I was stuck up there. And I was literally on the floor, bawling my eyes out because I had no way to get out. And hyperventilating, it was, it was a mess. <laughs> Um, so, I refuse to even attempt to go upstairs on that one. And Notori said, I have no idea what the DOS is. So, DOS stands for Disability Access Services. Um, for anyone with any kind of a disability that you might need, um, you might not be able to wait in the queue in the traditional manner. So you're still waiting, technically, but not in the actual physical line. So you still have the same amount of wait time as everyone else, but you're not doing it physically in the line. So people that can't stand for long periods of time, um, people with children with autism that um, the kids can't handle standing in a line like that. Um, people with certain TI issues that can't be in line like that. People with seizures and things like that. It accommodates a wide variety, but at the moment, there's so many people using it, and some people misusing it, that they're trying to change the setup. Chris is still there. Rico said, hey, have you ever been to Castle Park over in Riverside? Um, I have, it's been a very long time though. frozen lemonade like in texture um maybe a smidge thicker ice but but close to that it's it's more like gritty ice um but like it's a thicker consistency as far as the ice itself goes but it is like a slush type drink jacob said katie do they do the picture thing with mickey and minnie every night the picture thing like you mean can you go take your picture with them every night or are you talking about a Star Wars night with the characters in front of the castle? Mickey and Minnie in front of the castle. If you're talking about Star Wars night, they do that every Star Wars night, twice a night. Andrew said, I love that Mickey. And she's like, good to know. Thank you, Katie. Last time we were there, we went to City Hall. Yeah, so the way it's set up right now, you can do it at any guest relations booth or at City Hall um, at both parks. But with the new system, it's only going to be supposedly online through this outside company. Good night, Jacob. Here's the subject. Show it after parents. Raging Ralph said, man, we all miss it there in a CA Disneyland. Jacob said, Katie, did a, did a great picture thing with Mickey in every party. Yes, I won. Yeah, so they do it twice a night, Jacob, at Star Wars night. Said, got a Matterhorn to climb? Climb? I think. A Rivers of America to swim? <laughs> got a pirate that wants rum? A teacup that needs fun? Baby's the one to get the job done. Hit the thumb and join the fun. Harrison said, April 27th is Kevin McNally's Gibson Pirates movie's birthday. Ms. Muffin said, Are you hopping to DCA? Yes. Izzy said, oh, that upstairs area is so narrow. Uh, Jacob, Anthony's probably at least another 30 minutes to an hour at least. Jimin says, pirates are rascals with dirty faces and morals that are disgraces. Got no manners when non food. They're drunks and very rude. A keg of rum is their evil mistress, yet we're happy to pay the sweetness. 
Bienvenidos a todos. Seguridad, permanencia, con las manos, brazos, pies y piernas. Y cuiden a todos. Jennifer said, I'm trying to get a reservation and there's nothing available. I know, it's it's ridiculous right now. No, Charlie said, oh, okay, I don't like loud, blaring music. Like the Batu Cantina restaurant, I can't handle very well. Can you turn that off for the ride? It's going to disturb everyone around us. Um, I'll just turn it the other way. So it shouldn't be in your field of vision. <laughs> All right, guys, enjoy the ride. And this is your volume warning. Like I said, guys, you can't please everyone.
morning, Catherine.
actually seeing this in person so I never want to ruin it for anyone 
but um, ultimately anyone's allowed to record anything. So give me one sec. I'm gonna sit you guys down and get the charger out and I will show you guys the outfit. Here is the bag for the day. And then, here, I'll put you over here and I'll flip you around. Ta-da! Nothing crazy. Got bobble bar Mickey earrings in. I've got the Disney 100 Mickey necklace. And then the um, shirt from her universe. And then, obviously, one of those. So that is the fit for the day, guys. But let me get my charger out so we can get you guys plugged in so we don't have another mishap like the channel versus stream. You gonna go Winnie the Pooh? That was that was a KD fault. That was my my bad. Buy a balloon. Oh yeah. That day. Hopefully Anthony will be here soon. Yeah, let's go right Winnie the Pooh and then on our yeah, way We'll out. be looking for balloons. We'll be looking. Yeah. But I think we're gonna hop soon, guys. Um, it is currently 7.15, so we only have like 45 minutes here in this park anyway, before the park closes to regular guests. So I think rather than fight the crowds once it gets closer to that time frame, we'll just head over there now. So let me get you pulled in. Sorry, it's gonna get shaky. Actually, I'll be on the beer right back for one second, guys, so you're not having to watch this get all shaky, shaky. All right. <laughs> I know guys, I know. Like I said, I try and um, just take into account that, you know, this might be their only time coming and they want an unobstructed view. So I try and be respectful. Like I said, the gimbal was not in their way at all. It was literally in front of me the entire time, below my head. And I even took the chat off so there was nothing bouncing around. I tried to keep it as simple as possible and um, completely out of his eyesight, but I still heard him complaining uh, about halfway through the ride, grumbling about it. So you can only do what you can do. You can't please everyone. All right. <laughs> G-Man said, opening in 1967, Walt Disney was deeply involved with the creating of the beloved Pirates of the Caribbean. Sadly, Walt died three months before its first voyage. <laughs> Jennifer said, where's Mary when you need her? <laughs> Mary be like, sir, sir. <laughs> oh my gosh, y'all are funny. All right, friends. Kirstie said, I dozed off for a bit. What happened? We had a, a cranky male Karen behind us on Pirates. But it's okay. Andrina said, let's just bless and release the nasty Chad. It speaks to him, or speaks about him more than it does about you, Katie. Oh. Man said, Smile, and the world will smile with you. When people see you smiling, they can't have smiling too. So get rid of the blues and chase your worries away. Just hit the thumb and be happy each and every day. Uh, 
I agree, Niner Guy for Life. I really don't think he would have said anything if anyone like Anthony was with me. <laughs> he said, I imagine Katie having a closet like Cher from Clueless. I wish. I, I genuinely wish that I had like a rotating uh, clothes rack like at the dry cleaners. Make life so much easier. Thank you, Miss Muffin. She says, outfit, 10 out of 10. Hey, Main Street Matt, welcome in. How you doing tonight? He said, good evening, everyone. Garrison said, all right, thank you for the fit check. You're welcome. Chrissy said, what happened? I missed it. Rewind to the beginning of Pirates, right when we were getting on. Ray Jean said, love the lounge for me. Thank you. Garrison said, where to now? We're gonna head over to DCA. <laughs> that was the cringe. <laughs> Christy said his name was Chad. No, we don't know his actual name. This is these are the names that chat was giving him. Anthony says plays the world's smallest violin. <laughs> hey April, welcome in. She said good evening. Anthony said, hey everyone. You're one ride too late, Anthony. Hey, to Disney Baker. He said, I'll be there on the 29th for five days. Can't wait. East Coast will invade from Orlando. Oh, I would love to meet up with you for a little bit if you'd like. Even just to say hi. Uh, Game of James says, what are you going to eat tonight? I don't know. I brought my sip and savor pass because it's going to be um, over soon. And I still have five tabs I need to use. <laughs> Le <Bus. laughs> Anthony's on Le Bus. Christy said, let's get something yummy. How about pretzel bread? Well, unfortunately, that's only available here in Disneyland, so let's find something else. Mandrina said, Chad is the male version of Karen, lol, so we name him Chad. <laughs> hey, Ernesto, welcome in. He said, hi, my friend. Baker said, Toast, Main Street Cowgirl. Let's make it happen. Pixar Fest. I would love that. Chrissy said, Oh, yummy. Let's get something good at DCA. Ada said, uh, Can you get churro with the tabs? We can actually get the cannoli churro, Ada. It just so happens. It's not the best value for the tabs but you can do it. So if you're gonna get a sip and saver, the recommendation is, A, you, obviously you can't get alcoholic beverages with it, but I don't recommend buying regular beverages or less expensive food items because you're not getting your best value that way. Now, if you're only there for like a day and that's all you want, then go for it. But if you're gonna be here for several days, for any of the food festivals that offer sip and savers, use the tabs for the more expensive food items, that way you're actually saving the money. Because if you're just buying the cheaper food items, then you're not getting anything off of your uh, your value for it. You're not saving any money. Money, honey. But, but, we might make an exception for the cannoli churro, because it is that good. Chris said, goodness, it is crowded. Yeah, like I said, it's it's still the mix-in. So you have regular Disney people and you have your Star Wars Disney people. Ernesto says, how about a turkey leg? Maybe. April says, are you doing the death wheel today? No, we save that for Jordan. Cause it's his favorite. He loves it so much. Leslie with the churro. Garrison said, is it more crowded now? Yeah, it's pretty darn crowded right now. So you can see everyone's leaving right here. And then over that away is all the people coming in for Star Wars night. So it's a separate uh, entrance area for them so they can get their credentials for the event.
Uh, Ada said, oh, let's do that. Carmen said, I hope to see you before you my birthday, Miss Katie. Uh, the Disney Baker said, meeting with Carla on the 28th at Downtown Disney. Well, maybe I'll tag along. As long as you're okay with it being very loud, because when Carla and I are together, it gets loud. Very loud, and a lot of laughter. You've been warned. <laughs> As you guys can see over here in the esplanade in the middle, they're actually installing what appears to be the Pixar ball. So they have it walled off right now and they're setting that up for Pixar Fest. So that should be cute. I'm wondering, I'm wondering if it's gonna be Luxo lamp on top because that pole goes up a lot higher than the ball. So I'm thinking it might be Luxo on top, but we shall see. Uh, Ada said, very true. Hmm, what's good for the expensive stuff? Brandy said, I swear that I heard Chad mumble there at the end of the Pirates. Probably. Hey, Pete McDevitt Show. Welcome in, Pete. How are you doing tonight, my friend? If you guys are not familiar, Pete is another amazing content creator and live streamer. He's got Disney covered and he's got sports covered. So be sure to check out his channels, because he's got two that I know of. You might have more than that. Do you have more than two, Pete? I only know of two. Um, to check out his awesome content. Dun, dun, dun. The Disney Baker said, will City Hall be done when I get there? They have not made any announcement as far as dates for completion on the, um, the renovations over there. It's been down for a long time. I would be surprised though if it was done by then. I <laughs> want oh, just to cool. How are you guys? Hello. Hello. Thank you. I love your glasses by the way. You're welcome. Alrighty. Dun dun dun. Okay, okay, I'm looking, I'm looking, I lost my place. Um, there we are, okay. Christy said, why was City Hall and Fire Station being covered for months now? Uh, they're just doing renovations on it. They're repainting and doing any touch-ups to the buildings that needed done. April says, poor Jordan. The Disney Baker said, run, far, far away. Chrissy said, Kitty, you should have smiled and given that guy a sticker and tell him that he able to hear himself. Oh my gosh. Uh, Ernesto said, what time does DCA close tonight? Um, it closes at I believe. I think Disneyland closes at 10 on non-Star uh, Wars nights and Dis uh, DCA closes at 9, if I remember right. The Disney Baker said, toast! No, really! Nine o'clock. Christy said, oh wow, electrical parade music. April says, electrical parade music, I miss it. Uh, Pete said, just two, thank you. Thank you, Mods, for dropping the links for Pete's channels. Carmen said, Pixar Fest is looking awesome, Miss Katie. I agree, Carmen. Christy said, you see, it will be crowded tonight also. Can we ride, Soren? We can try. Uh, Stitch says, Pete has great wrestling live streams. Yes. He's got um, wrestling covered. He's got uh, baseball covered. I'm not sure what other sports he covers in different seasons, but those are the two I've been seeing. Um, Marcio, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. All right, let me see what wait times are, guys. Before we get too far in, there's Jordan's work. He's in there somewhere, being tortured. Oh, my Lanta, Soren is 100 minutes. All right, guys. We're probably only gonna be able to do one bigger attraction. So are we leaning towards Soren or are we leaning towards Radiator Racers? If it's up, let me see if it's up. It is, it is up. Wow, Radiator Racers is shorter than Soren. That's nuts. Yeah, that's kind of crazy. Welcome in, Paul. 
And Kristen, welcome in from Menifee, California. Happy to have you here. Oh, we got racers. Okay, racers, I think it is. All right. If by some miracle we can we can do Soren too, we'll do it. But. don't have a ton of time in here and I'm not sure uh, what wait times we're gonna do now that everyone's hopping over here uh, da -da -da. Uh, Kristen said Disneyland in Anaheim is in Southern California yes Uh, Game with James says, are you going to ride the Incredicoaster? Probably not tonight, because we don't have a whole lot of time. And the weights are going to be uh, pretty wild. Jetta said, is Anthony there already? It's either him or a really good imposter. <laughs> uh, Kristen said, we Chippendale in Disneyland. Unfortunately, we had to hop over because Star Wars Night is going to be starting over there very soon. And we don't have tickets for tonight's event there. April said, right, Ariel's under sea adventure. As he said that, the boost was zippy. <laughs> I think that would be cool, Garrison. He said, Katie, do you think that they should add an anxiety walk-around character for Inside Out 2 on Pixar Pier? I would be surprised if they didn't have a meet and greet with anxiety after the movie comes out. Justin Ray Elgato Diaz, he says, hi Katie, watch this vampire movie named Abigail in theaters, almost passed out due to the gory scenes, oh my gosh. And again, Paul Holmes, welcome in, Paul said good evening. What are the, let's do meters, it's only 20 minute wait. And we're right next to it. <laughs> Jetta said swings. But did you die? Miss Muffin said, oh my Lanta, Georgia. <laughs> Chrissy said it's because Soren is leaving in a few days. Uh, Randy said we can always go visit Patrick and Soren later. Ernest just said, I'm a big WWE fan and San Diego Padres fan and Detroit Lions fan. Well, definitely check out Pete's um, channel for sports. You would love it there. Kristen said, Moors and lots of Moors. Christy said, Soren might get shorter as the night goes on. Yeah, we can definitely check back. Everyone's saying hi to Anthony. <laughs> Elisa said, go on Rapids. 42. Choose life. <laughs> Elisa says, also, hello everyone. Welcome in, Elisa. Hope you're having a good night. Chrissy said, let's go get food first thing. We'll get a couple rides in and then we'll grab a bite. Daniel Degada says, hi Katie and Anthony. Hello to everyone in the chat. How is everyone doing? Doing good, Daniel. Hope you're doing great. <laughs> Justin Ray said, I'm just an Irvine Spectrum walking after I watched Abigail in theaters. I miss the Spectrum. I used to go there all the time when I was younger. Kristen said, fabulous, and I'm doing good, Kristen. Thank you for asking. Have a good night to Disney Baker. He said, ta-ta for now. See you real soon. Good night. Main Street Man said, go Padres. That's my team. Ryan said, we are now at Cars Land inside DCA. Welcome to everyone just joining. Hit that like button and subscribe if you're enjoying the stream. Garrison said, and other scenery additions for Inside Out 2, but it might end up being only the anxiety walker on the picture. Hey, Jenny Perry, welcome in. Jenny said, hello. Helen, how are 
are you doing? She says, hey, hey, Miss Early Morning. <laughs> hey, Sharon, welcome in. Sharon said, hi, all. Happy Almost Friday. Happy Almost Friday to you too, Sharon. Uh, Game of James says, what gets you more dizzy, meters or teacups? Um, it depends. If, if Anthony and Jordan are spinning it, then definitely the teacups. <laughs> <laughs> Christy said, well, okay, 140 likes already. Thank you so much, everyone. All right, I'm going to hand you guys over to Anthony. Uh, we might have some lag, guys. It's showing the signal's not the best. If we do get laggy, just hang tight, and we will be right back. Mischief Camera Guy. There's a new name for you, Mischief Camera Guy. Mischief Camera Guy. Mischief Camera Guy. Camchief? Cam <laughs> 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 Helen said, Thank you, Miss Katie. Can't wait. So excited. I'm so excited for you, Helen. I hope the, the visits just get longer and more frequent for you. <laughs> Did they never? They never took the Halloween decoration down. No, they just hit them. That's so funny. Like, that's from their Halloween. I've never noticed that before. So do we have? we're going to be able to fit in guys because it's not too much time that we have left before the park closes uh, but we have radiator racers booked over in cars land is there anything else that we can try and see if we can squeeze in oh and again pole rides or world of color if you have the app check the wait time so you have an idea of kind of what we're facing and kind of think from there Oh, oh, oh. 
said, just got home. Hey, everyone in the chat. Helen said, are you going to Star Wars tonight? Unfortunately, no, we don't have tickets for tonight's event. We have tickets for one of the dates in May. So we won't be back at Star Wars night until then. Um, but I mentioned earlier, if anyone is wanting to see Star Wars night tonight, our friend um, Bob from Very Place 28 will be there streaming it. So you can catch him at the event this evening. Uh, Christy said, color and churros. Or as Jordan would say, churros. Maybe not with that high pitch like, <laughs> sound at the end. Be like, I, I still, I, I get high pitched. I don't know. <laughs> Kristen said, "Good." Glad I said, "Hey, Katie." I can't say it without getting high pitched. Uh, Kristen said, "Are you still going, Katie? Or are you go uh, giving them away?" Well, you can't sell them because you'll lose your magic key if you sell them. So I either have to give them to someone or go. So I'm gonna. I'll see when it gets closer. I could give them to someone in my family. Uh, Randy said, I'd say Toy Story Mania, but the connection is back, bad back there. I know, it's such a bummer. Carmen said, is Mr. Mischief with you? Yep, Miss Katie. Um, if not him, definitely an imposter, Carmen. Hey, Amber W., welcome in. She said, happy Thursday, all. <laughs> Helen said, so early night for you guys then. Yeah, we're gonna be here until closing, and then I figured we could head to, um, Disney and head to World of Check it out on my backpack.
so Daniel showed up today, and he's like, hey, good job on the numbers, like, you're doing really good, like, we're glad we brought you on, da, da, da. and he's like, and uh, according to, uh, what is his name, Aaron? Come on in, find yourself a trailer and hop in so we can get this according damn bread, damn bread. You have some magnificent hair. Huh? Hey well, everybody! Arian well, doesn't have long hair in Daniel's ball. Carburetor cow. Oh. Listen up now. <laughs> Please remain seated with your hands, arms, feet, and legs inside them trays. I'm like, well, hey, okay. <laughs> Thanks. Hola, a dodo. Por favor. Your boss. Our Sousa Veridine. Permanescan Sentado. Cognos Mono. No, I think I have magnificent hair. I've been sure they said, Great done. Edgy Lane with all the suit. Thank you. Carmen said, Hi, my handsome friend, Mr. Mischief. Good evening. How you doing? Hey, how you doing? <laughs> What's well, shaking, bacon? Tartar sauce. Shake tartar sauce. Actually, you can't shake tartar sauce. I mean, in a bottle. It'd be it's very messy still, otherwise. It's still shaking. <laughs> Garrison says, 10.45 p.m. Eastern Standard Time here in New Jersey. Thanks for being here with us, Garrison. Appreciate you. Wow, that was a hip up. Yeah. Well, like, who's going to throw your back out? <laughs> <laughs>
I didn't realize I was going to be swimming. Oh my god. I'm like 99% of America, like instant gratification. <laughs> Actually, the funny thing is, is the amount of time that you would wait to go and order it and then pick it up would probably be about the same time it takes to throw them in the microwave. When you're here, you can like enjoy the music and the vibes and people watch. Well, that's why your stream. That's why your streams are recorded. What? Because then you can watch your stream over. I don't want to hear myself talking. <laughs> Yeah, but you know how many more buffalo wings, pizza buffalo wings you would get? Yeah, I can't eat that many, so I'm good. Sweet. And Brandon said, Anthony sounds good. You should definitely 
try that. <laughs> Maybe everybody else is lagging. They haven't caught up yet. Oh, I know that. I'll just keep going though because it's me. Okay. I mean, I'm at Disney. Like, that's what we do when we come here. We spend money we don't need to be spending on things we don't need to be spending it on. It's like a law. It's, well, it's not. Didn't, didn't you read the fine print when you bought your magic key? No, because yeah, that's, the, that's it, why. It's not we, because no, I don't spend no. money like you guys do. No, but you still have a sense of saver pass, and you could be making all of that food at home, but you don't. So, again. Hey, hey, I made some tortellinis yesterday. They don't have that here, so that's loud. <laughs> 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 Garrison said, yeah, I refresh. Atari said, I'd rather have bison burgers than bison wings. Bison is so good. It's that situation. Oh, the bill's a hundred bucks. That's okay. <laughs> Main Street Man said, Anthony, you would lose an argument with Katie before it even started. <laughs> when it comes to Disney, yes, because she has an excuse for everything when it's Disney related. It's not an excuse. It's just logical thinking. Oh. It's girl math. See, now you're contradicting yourself. You said a little bit ago we don't do logical thinking here. It's both. It's, it's <laughs> Logical, the other is illogical. Oh, well, we were in this park when you said. <laughs> that was so like over there in the line, it doesn't count. We came around the corner and it changed. Well, so we have gained logic in 10 minutes. <laughs> All right. We just we came up, so like the, the elevation's higher. It's clear thinking up here. That's what it is. The air's much fresher up here. I can smell the logic. Oh. <sighs> going on and now the approval of the uh, Disney Forward that's going to be a hard one to say I mean because as you guys see like even now the connection is even worse and we're running 720 um, I'll definitely do some checking in and out to see when eventually we can make the switch. Um, so I really don't have an ETA on that. But trust me, it's definitely in the planning because um, I just switched over to 1080p on my stream, but I stream from home. So that's a little bit different than mobile streaming.
that does not include your drinks. But that's for three courses. And then if you eat in the bar area, that is a less expensive menu. Are you solo? No, with my family. <laughs>
about being in love with a human. We sent her to Ursula.
I kind of don't like that they changed the storyline of it, but what can you do? Thank you.
Two of those. You didn't get in the line with it. One of those. One of those. You didn't no. get in the line with it. Oh, that's right. That's right. That makes sense. Because I knew I had one less than you because I got that coffee for you that one night. And you're like, oh, I want a coffee, but Anthony's not here yet. And you were on Soren. So I can't, I grabbed it for you while you were on Soren. Hello. How are you doing? Good and you? I'm good, thank you. Olive oil 
do this one since I didn't eat it. And for me personally, the bread bowls over here at um, Aunt Cass's Kitchen or Aunt Cass's Cafe are like 10 times better than the bread bowls anywhere else in the park. You want to try it? It's okay. Well, I figured if you want to try it, you can try it before I do. No, it's okay. Sure? It's okay. at my work. What? How did that happen? Hey Mike Skellington, welcome in. Victoria said I had an opening shift today. Alright, you want to set up a giveaway? Okay. I had to think about what I brought. Oh, whoops. Disregard that. I don't know how I did that. Oh, that's like pepper right there in my throat. Woo. <clears throat> Sorry guys, disregard that. press the button. All right, guys. So let me put the rules up really quickly for y'all. If you've never played a giveaway before, I know, right? <laughs> if you guys have never played a give, uh, for a giveaway here in the channel before, be sure to read these rules over. Make sure you qualify and make sure you know how to claim it. <laughs> Leslie. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm going to take that down. That is going to be the first giveaway for the night. It is one of the Fantastic Four pins. If you guys would like to enter the giveaway, the keyword you're going to enter in the chat is PIN. P-I-N. PIN. Only enter it one time, guys. And good luck! Your phone went black. Is it going to still sound through the giveaway? Welcome in, Angelica. My mac and cheese is so peppery tonight. Is yours? Ah. But I love pepper. It's like spicy. My lips are hurting. Obi said, hi mods, mod love. Nate said, music has a great vibe. Randy said, DCA is such a vibe. Allie Hunter said, Katie, I love your button up. Thank you, Allie. It is from her universe. So food and wine goes till April 22nd. I saw your question in there, Ange. <laughs> and says it looks moist. <laughs> Carmen said, guess what, Mr. Mischief? I have a job interview at Knott's for next week. Just wanted to tell you. I heard. Congratulations. And good luck. All right, last few seconds for the giveaway, guys. Everyone wishing Carmen luck. <laughs> and he was like, I was like, did I enter? Yeah, I pressed the button so it like automatically entered to everyone who's um, subscribed to the channel and I didn't need to do that. And 
Megan and Helica. Welcome in. She said, hi, Katie wants in the chat. All right, winner is, dun -dun -dun -dun, Mike Skellington. Garrison said, Anthony, how is it? Gone. All trays. to my mods and the mods have to be currently in the chat do not go in the mod chat and tell everyone guys so if any of my mods are currently in the chat and would like to enter the giveaway this is going to be the prize it is a card holder that is Pinocchio themed so if any of the mods would like to enter And again, this is only open to the mods, guys, so only mods can enter. So we're gonna do an even shorter timer for this one. Um, it'll still have the stopwatch, but we'll end it at a minute instead of two minutes. So mods, if you would like, whoops, why did it do that? There we go. All right, so any mods, if you would like to enter, the keyword is mod, M-O-D. So again, you have one minute to enter mods. Only mods are eligible. Just as a little thing. And all the effort and energy I'll put in. Oh my God. <laughs> Niner guy. And good luck to the mods. You guys are welcome. This isn't going to be an every stream kind of thing. It's just going to be a once in a blue moon. Maybe once a month or once every few weeks. I'm not sure yet. I haven't decided. But just something special just to show my appreciation to y'all. All right. Last few seconds. Good luck to the mods. All right, it is now closed. And it is open to everyone, even if you already won, because this is a separate thing. And the winner is Jennifer. She said, yay, I'm here. All right, congratulations, guys. Let me take that off the screen for you. Um, it's a Pinocchio wallet. Jennifer, now you have a Pinocchio wallet to go with the Pinocchio lounge toy that you won from Rope Drop. All right, guys, and we'll do one more giveaway while we switch the gimbals over for you guys. This will be open to everyone in the chat that qualifies. Again, I'll put the rules up one more time while we swap you over. So just hang tight. We're gonna put the phone in the other gimbal and then we'll get the other giveaway started.
backdrop. No, she won a um, a lounge fly backpack from Rope Drop Nation. Our friend um, Caesar and Sylvie, um, quite a while back on their live stream, and um, it was a Pinocchio lounge fly that she happened to win. So it's. Hey, everyone. OMG. That's mine. Mic check, guys. Mic check. Yeah, mic check. One, two, one, two. Breaker, breaker, one, nine. Oh, you guys are welcome. It's something I'd wanted to do for a while, but I was like, okay, now that we have so many mods, you know. All right. But Randy said, I take park maps. I can definitely throw some park maps in next time you win something, Randy. Just remind me um, when you claim your prize and I can throw some park maps in there for sure. timer back and we're gonna get the other giveaway set up one set guys all right the next giveaway is going to be this mystery stitch bag clip so if you guys would like to enter for this giveaway the keyword you're going to enter in the chat why isn't it it won't let me click the timer there we go the keyword is going to be stitch s-t-i-t-c-h stitch good luck everyone guys know I don't do rope drop. <laughs> it is way too hard for me to get here for rope drop. I would literally have to like stay in the hotel down here in order to make it for rope drop. Oh, no way, Chris. That's so cool. All right. and said, yes, maps from Disneyland and California Adventure Park. I love the park maps too, Miss Katie. <clears throat> Ashley Yoki said, oh, so cute. Chris said, oh, how cute. Randy said, good luck, everyone. Carmen said, very cute. Leslie said, good luck again, friends. Mike Skellington said, oh, my daughter's new favorite. Garrison said, Ninja Watchers, come out to socialize and win the giveaway. Carmen said, if I win, I need to buy a Stitch Mini Backpack, Miss Katie, right? Hey, Rob Bola, welcome in. He said, howdy, 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 everyone. All right, giveaway is now closed. The winner is... Mackenzie Wilson. Mackenzie, are you in the chat? Congratulations, Mackenzie.
Oh, Rice, we do giveaways like every stream. So just as a little thank you to everyone to bring a little Disney magic to everyone's home. Mackenzie said, whoa. Congratulations, Mackenzie. All right, if you could please email me and make sure you include that info that we uh, showed up on the screen earlier. If you don't remember, you can always rewind back and uh, check what was displayed on the screen. It includes all of the info you need. Uh, just make sure you send all of it so that I know exactly what to send and where to send it. But congratulations, Mackenzie. And also, if you're unsure what the email is, the email is in the description. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. If needed, what is that, a stitch what? Bag clip. So if you guys look, if you close out your chat, if you're on a phone, right there where the description is, if you click on it, and you can expand it and scroll down, and there's all of the info you might need to contact me. So it's all right there. So if you ever forget to copy it down during a stream, you can always go back to a previous stream and um, it'll be included in the, the description. So just to make it a little easier for y'all. But let's go get on some rides, guys. I'm gonna flip you around and take a, the bag off, or the bag clip off. All right, friends. You ready, Freddy? Sure. Yeehaw. <laughs> oh, you guys are so welcome. Congratulations again to everyone that won tonight. This gimbal is so much better. So much smoother. Heavier than I don't know what, but. <laughs> Excuse me. I don't want to hit you with this. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Parkour! Sorry about that. Thank you. You smashed the other guy with the fence. Oh, I didn't mean to. <laughs> I don't think they realized they were stand. Uh, welcome in Rainbow Disney. All right, friends. Garrison said, racers next? Let's see if it's time yet, shall we? <laughs> Sorry guys, I forgot to lock the phone in the phone clamp. What's the matter? I've got to lock this in here again. Oh, geez. Sorry. All right, there we go. Is it time to get on racers yet? Yes, sir. Sarah Nicole Cabarón, welcome in, beautiful. Jens, how are you? Oh, look at all these beautiful faces in the chat. Canary Witch, welcome in. She said, your ribbon is so cute, Miss Katie. Thank you. Uh, Christy, I got the same thing as Anthony, just not as much of it as Anthony did. <laughs> huh? <clears throat> they were asking what I got to eat, and I said the same thing as you, just not as, many, as large of a portion. <laughs> Garrison said this is very clear and fluid quality now. Yeah, it helps when the signal's a little bit better. It was so peopley over that way. Uh, Sarah Nicole said, hey, cowgirl. Hey, chat, sorry I'm late again. Did I miss anything cool? Uh, just our normal Disney fun. But happy to have you here. Carmen said, oh, that's not for me. Jen says, ah, you're pretty bow. Thank you, Jen. And guys, if you're not familiar, be sure to check out Donnie Land. Jen streams on Donnie Land, sometimes with him and sometimes without. 
And more than that, she's more than just a pretty face. She's an extremely talented crocheter. Wow, they parked them somewhere different this time. Yeah. That's a really cool photo off, though. Lightning McQueen with Flo Shiner in the background. Yeah, I think that one's better than uh, in front of the cozy cone. Yeah. Uh, Rice says, love this stream. Thank you so much. Thank you for being here, Rice. <clears throat> You're welcome, Mackenzie. Ooh, are you coming out here again, Rabola? Go get on Ready to Racers. That's where we're heading right now, Henry. There we go. Carmen said, I know you guys are going to get the red racing car, Miss Katie. Um, Arlene, I can check in one minute. I got to get scanned in here first. Uh, canary witch that I love this ride. Uh, Luigi's is currently a half an hour wait. April said, are they working on an credit coaster? Someone on Facebook said the loop is gone. Huh? The loop? I doubt the loop is gone. Wait, what loop? On an Incredicoaster? Oh, they took the top off. Huh? They took the top off. What? They took the top off. What? The top of the loop. What? Yes. What? <laughs> okay. I'm very confused right now. Incredicoaster was closed and they dismantled the loop. Oh, I, I missed that memo. Is it still? Go. I had no clue. I missed that memo. Natalia said I got Canadian bacon and cheese pizza to eat for dinner later on. Yum. Canary Witch said Radiator Springs looks amazing at night. Arlene said, OMG, I love the song. Garrison said, yes, you need to be out of the laggy areas with bad signal. Jen said, Katie, thank you for the kind words, my beautiful friend. You're so welcome, Jen. Chris said, that's my cousin's song. Hey, Jason, welcome in. He said, evening, everyone. And Tori said, yeah, I'm an anti-pineapple on pizza kind of guy. Hey, Betty, welcome in. She said, hey, Katie, what are you up to? We are currently in line for Radiator Racers, Betty. Garrison said, life could be a dream. Shaboom. Chris said, green onion. The top of the loop's not gone. The whole loop's gone. Well, this is a day later. When I seen it, only the top of the loop was gone. It, see where those things are? Yeah. The track was still there. This is I showing the whole I wonder if loop they're going to put something else instead of Pixar Pier right there for Pixar Fest. I don't know. But why would you need to take the loop down to do it? To access it, maybe? I don't know. Oh, I'm going to miss you, Rob. He said, I'll be here in the park Sunday and Monday. Woohoo! Jennifer said, hey, everyone that just came in. Uh, Sarah Nicole said, Katie, I forgot to ask you how you like Star Wars Night. Would you go again? Oh, boy. <laughs> well, I have tickets to go again. Um, 
Am I excited to go again? Not really. Um, they, I'm sure you heard, they removed the fireworks this year, which were like one of the best parts of the night. They didn't replace it with anything, so there's no like character cavalcade or anything like that. It's just the normal guest costume cavalcade. Um, they got rid of the awesome projections on Main Street in the castle. So now it's just either red on one side of the street or blue on the other side of the street. I, I don't know. I was just, I was honestly pretty disappointed this year. So I'm hoping they change it for next year, but we'll see. Um, we still had fun, but mainly just because of the people in the chat and the people that were with us. Um, and the guests that we met, we, we, we had some really cool interactions with random people, so, but that's about it. Kennery Witch said, let's burn rubber. Chrissy said, are you streaming your drug? Oh, that's not for me. Brandy said, it was gone for a few days and put it back up for the end credit coaster. Izzy said, they took the top off? What? That's what I said, Izzy. <laughs> uh, Garrison said, what are your least favorite colors? Mine is lime green. Probably brown. Least favorite colors? To be honest with it, I, I don't know, because I've never really thought about like, you know what, I do not like this color. <laughs> Cute green. I mean, they're colors to me. Like, I have my favorites, but it's like... <laughs> you're, I mean, you're not ever really forced to have a color, so I'll... Anthony said he's like... I'm weird. Henry says, you guys are awesome. Do you bring the Disneyland to Toledo, Ohio? Thank you for your awesome streams. Thank you for being here, Henry. Appreciate you. Garrison said, bright lime green. Chrissy said, are we guessing car colors? We can. Randy said, if you're hearing a pause in the volume, then refresh the stream. Yes, chat. Let's see what you guys think we're gonna get for our color car. Garrison said, must have missed the memo, Mr. Waterloos. Jason Allen, welcome in. He said, they do that every few years for maintenance. It's no biggie. Niner Guy said, I heard they're just replacing the loop with a brand new track. Sarah Nicole said, what? No way, that sucks. Yeah. It was a disappointment for sure. How many? Two, two, row five. How many? Uh, let's see. Garrison said, everyone, hit the like button. Arlene said, Katie, if you do go to the Star Wars again, but your phone is in your backpack when you go on to ride. <laughs> I got it back, Arlene. I got it back. Oh. We got red. Wow, are we getting a whole car to ourselves? Ain't no way. Just don't hold the gimbal up for the picture so you don't block their faces. No, I wasn't going to. I'm gonna hold it right here. All righty. Live streaming. <laughs> Attention, you be sure to stay seated when your seat fell back. Now go out and enjoy. Mama Bear said, which reminds me, we're still processing applications to find Miss Furry Fox. <laughs> oh my goodness, Mama Bear. Sarah Nicole said, maybe they'll make it up to people on the actual May the 4th date. I don't know. It's not open on May the 4th for Star Wars night. There's no Star Wars night on May the 4th this year because it falls on a Saturday. Hi, everyone. Start talking on the yellow tabs on your seat. 
seatbelts, please. Start on those yellow tabs on your seatbelts. Thank you. Have Randy fun. said yellow. Oh, we're pimping the car colors. We got red, guys. Mackenzie said, love your blue hair bow. Thank you, Mackenzie. The link for...
That was fun. <laughs> Rubble is like, whoa, did you see that lightning above the ride? ka -chow. <laughs> <laughs> G-Man said, contrary to popular belief, red cars are not the most ticketed. They actually come in second. According to the National Motorist Association, white colored vehicles get pulled over the most. Nate said, this is some ride. Jen said, fun, fun, fun. Victoria said, well, that's rather unfortunate that I drive a white Lexus. Garrison said, get her done. ka -chow. G-Man said, at a cost of over $200 million, Radiator Springs is one of the most expensive theme park attractions in the world. In 1955, the entire original Disneyland Park cost only $17 million. Good night, Chris. She said, gotta work in the morning. Have a good night, folks. Thanks for sharing the magic. Have Good a great night, Chris. night, Chris. Garrison said, Anthony sounded like Owen Wilson there. <laughs> hmm. uh, Randy said, usually when your car ends up on the Luigi side, you do win the race. I don't even think we're going to get to see our picture. I don't know. Sarah Nicole said, I love Luigi's line before the race starts in the movie, Uno for the money, do for the show. Carmen said, my favorite color is the good luck color. I was like, are we going again? I was gonna say we're going again? All right. What is the blur? Oh, my hair? Katie said, traffic jam. Hey, Sylvia, welcome in. Carmen said, wait, what happened, Miss Katie? I don't know, I'm just taking a while to get going. Hey, someone somewhere, welcome in. He said, hey, Main Street Cowgirl and Anthony, just stopping in to say hi and bye. Have to get up early in the morning. We'll appreciate you stopping in, friend. Hey, Victor said, woo, or Hector said, woo. I don't know why I said Victor. Uh, Randy said, these stairs do cause lag. Carmen said, I love the uniforms in Cars Land, Miss Katie. They're awesome. Sarah Nichols said, catching any shows tonight, cowgirl, or just rides? No bad choice with either. Well, unfortunately, the park is now closed. You're welcome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Can we go look at this question, Penny? Yeah. What was that? That was that. 
So DCA is now closed. Disneyland is now closed to regular guests. So we can kind of take our time wandering out. And then we can head to World of Disney and look at some of the merch. But that's it tonight, guys, unfortunately. These Star Wars nights uh, really throwing a wrench in our streaming. Yes, it closes at nine, guys. So it is now considered the off season. So every night DCA will be closing at nine and on non-Star Wars nights. So Mondays and Wednesdays, Disneyland will be closing at 10. So on Star Wars nights, Disneyland will close to regular guests at eight. The other two days of the week, it closes at 10. And then it goes back to midnight on Friday, Saturday, Sunday. But DCA every night, Monday through Thursday is 9 p.m. So it's just there's certain times of the year that it gets kind of screwy like this and unfortunately this is one of those times. Canary Witch said cute photo. And she says early night I'm here for the merch. Canary Witch said, good night, California Adventure. Oh, there it is. Carmen said, no, the fun is ending too soon, Auntie Katie. I was trying to zoom in on your face some more. Um, no, it's not actually, Christy. What, what'd I do? <laughs> yeah, my hair, I was like eating my hair. <laughs> oh, we're in their picture. Jason Allen said, well, you should just go to Star Wars night on the 25th. I mean, you'll have a friend there. Oh, where are you going on the 25th, Jason? Oh, I just seen that remind me. Do you remember that, uh, that time I got the Funny Farm at Apollo? Funny Farm, oh, the burger? Yeah. Yeah. It popped up in my memories today. Oh, that's funny. I still don't know how you ate that. Good night, gaming with James. Uh, Garrison said, was Anthony sounding like Owen Wilson on purpose? Negative. Oh, Jason, how fun. Oh, I hope look, you have you a great time. You can see time. the lights for the DJ at Star Wars night. Yeah. Sorry. I think even World of Color is pretty much done now. Didn't it? Huh? Didn't it just start? I mean, we can walk over there and see. I think it's... I mean, we can try and catch the last bit of it, but... Anthony should use his pick for his bachelor on ice resume. This is this is a picture <laughs> for my bachelor on ice resume. Oh dear. Hey, welcome back, Butch. <laughs> He's lost his marbles. <laughs> Maybe. I just looked over there. That bridge is packed. <laughs> I can't go to the high level. It's one of the days. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Let's go see if we can find the place, guys. My whole life? <laughs> Artem D2, where are you? Oh my, I've forgotten how much I hate safe travel. How about me with a beard? Sorry guys, I'm trying to hold it as steady as I can. I've got this thing arm extended fully up over my head. Whoa. What did the audio cut out? What's that for? It doesn't matter. It's in the past. <laughs> but the way I see it, back. I don't run from it or learn from it. So what are you going to do? I'm going back. I think when I put my hands over my head, it flipped the mic over so that the mic was against my skin.
loves the sea and her people. She makes her whole family proud. Sometimes the world seems against you. The journey may leave a scar. Moana, listen. Do you know who you are?
feel impossible. But sometimes, you just have to take the first step. Shoulders are on fire. <laughs> you can take it down, it's fine. They'll understand. Alright. Let's go ahead and start heading out. Wait, is it still going? It's just a little outro thing. <laughs> Jordan, are you on break? If you want, we can come say hi on our way out. Let me know. Yeah, DCA closes at 9 regardless right now, Mondays through Thursdays, um, this time of year. Has nothing to do with Star Wars night, it's just considered the off season. It's not spring break, it's not holidays. Um, it's just typically not as busy of a time of year, which I kind of chuckle at now when you see how packed the park is. But, um, but because it's considered the off season, they close the park a little earlier. Ah, oh well, Jordan. Have a good remainder of your shift, Jordan. <laughs> Time for cleanup. Oh my goodness. So that leaves me with a question for those of you that are currently remaining in the chat. And even you ninja watchers, I, I really, really, really want your input. Bearing in mind that, you know, we would be leaving around this time, do you guys want us to continue doing the Thursday streams? Tuesdays aren't a problem, because we can start a little earlier. But Thursdays, this is what we'd be dealing with for the next several weeks. So do you guys want us to continue doing the Thursday streams like our normal schedule, or would you rather we moved it to Monday or Wednesday? And if so, which of those two days would you guys prefer? Hector says, you don't gotta go home, but you can't stay here. Ange says, there's no slow time of year. They still change the same, or charge the same, exactly. Sarah Nicole says, World of Color 1 is great, but I really miss Wondrous Journeys. I know. But I'm super excited for um, the new Pixar fireworks show. Ernesto says, <laughs> Jason said Saturday. Well, it wouldn't, the back to back days wouldn't be too much of a problem because regardless, the park closes earlier. So we'd be leaving earlier regardless. So it doesn't matter if it's a back to back day, really. because the park closes so early, we would be getting home early, so it wouldn't really be, Anthony and I have discussed it, it wouldn't really be a huge inconvenience for either one of us to do a Monday or a Wednesday. Because with the park closing so early, we'd get home a heck of a lot earlier. So. We hope you have enjoyed World of Color. Yeah, we can't do Fridays. Remember. No Anthony has to go pick up his kids on Fridays, from, and Fridays are honestly a nightmare for me driving down, and then they'd be a nightmare for him driving down, because Fridays are pretty much a three-hour drive. 
come in here. So, I'm seeing more Wednesdays than anything. I think it's tied between Wednesday and Thursday because I've seen a lot of people just say keep it Thursday or keep it the same. Yeah. So I think right now it's a, almost a tie between Wednesday and Thursday. Maybe what I'll do is I'll, maybe I'll do a poll on the um, community tab and do a, a separate post with a poll to have everyone vote. <laughs> Izzy said, ooh, nettles is a good motive, right? <laughs> Huh, why do I feel like there's a subliminal message there? I don't see a problem with having to get nettles, just saying. I feel like there's a subliminal message there. I'm pretty sure somebody ran out of nettles not that long ago. It has acquired a sudden what taste a for him now. What, did you run out too? Yes, sir. How convenient. No, it's actually rather inconvenient. I still have some must be nice it is nice well we'll be here the the opening day of the pixar event on the 26th we'll be here streaming um so that week might be the exception but since star wars uh night goes on for so many weeks i was just trying to get like a a set schedule plan whatever in mind Alrighty. Rather not be wrangled into DCA every time you stream, though. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. It's better than having to go home, you know? It gives us a little bit more time for some attractions. Jason said, yeah, that's why I usually don't go during the week since I work in Santa Monica and live about 30 miles, 35 miles north of Disneyland. So unless I take time off, then eh. Queen of Hearts said, whichever is more convenient for you guys, I will be here. Hector says, planning on being there April 26th. Woohoo! It's gonna be a big Yippee. job party. I know, Robin, it's just I try and keep this uh, schedule as much the same as possible, just so people know kind of when to expect us, uh, with the exception of like after dark events or new fireworks shows or parades. Um, but on like a weekly basis, I try and keep it to where it's like a routine. So kind of people know when to kind of keep an eye out. It makes it easier for the people that don't get notifications. Yeah. Because then it's it's almost like a regular set scheduling. Yeah. Uh, and she says, I'll always prefer Disneyland over DCA, but whatever. Mondays are super busy for me, though. Okay. Henry says, whichever you guys decide, I'm here watching any days. You guys are on. Have a good night. Well, we're not leaving, guys. We're going to go look at merch in downtown Disney. Besides, we don't want to wait in the lines for the, the buses right now because they're going to be madness. Although the stores are going to be madness too. I don't know. It's just... At least there's motivation with merch. We're all <laughs> mad here. <laughs> Hector said, we still need a bowling night. I know. Ernest just says, the only season pass I have is Knott's Berry Farm. I wish I had the money to go to Disneyland lots of times. Robin said, Mondays are our date nights, so I would have to say no to Mondays. See, this is the kind of info I need, guys. I appreciate all of this feedback. Do we have a photo op? It looks like we have a photo op, Perry. Are you going to take a picture? Take a picture. 
Shaf? Huh? Well, it's a National Geographic one. You want to be the cover Secrets of National Geographic? Secrets of the... You want to take a picture? No, I'm okay as far as that goes. Hold on one sec, guys. There's someone taking a picture. We'll show you the photo op in one sec. The octopus topiary is so cute. And I like how the tentacles are like coming off the topiary and then going onto the ground. Right. So check it out, guys. He's even got little eyes. So it's to promote secrets of the octopus. Narrated by Paul Rudd. Coming out April 21st on National Geographic and streaming on Hulu and Disney Plus. It's pretty cute. Octopus are actually extremely intelligent creatures. Mm -hmm. And slightly mischievous. That hmm. too. Does that mean you would be an octopus in another life? I would probably be really efficient if I had eight arms. <laughs> Me, I would be tripping over myself that much more <laughs> and dropping that many more things. <laughs> Here we go. Here's a random fact. So usually an octopus has eight arms, right? Uh -huh. Why does Squidward only have six? Well, he's not an octopus. He's a squid. Touche. <laughs> yeah, but doesn't a squid have eight legs, to, eight arms too? I don't know. Maybe we need to go to an aquarium. Randy said, whichever night works best for you and Anthony. Chrissy said, Katie, I didn't mean that in a mean way. I know reception is worse for you in DCA and they also close early. I think do Wednesday night stream. Mondays still seem to be busier than Wednesdays. Carmen said, I love bowling. Ernesto said, but I can't wait for Disney World in December. First plane ride in 10 years for me. Oh my gosh, Ernesto, I'm so excited for you. Oh my God, you. they finally got my size in. What are you putting it on your foot? <laughs> what are you trying to say? I have big feet? <laughs> Here, let's get out the way. You're welcome. Sylvia said, Paul Rudd, I know him. Christy says, I bet Wednesday streams. Mm -hmm. Carmen said, same here, Miss Katie. Alejandro said, I love aquariums. If you guys have never gone to the Aquarium of the Pacific and Long, Did they get the Long Beach, new it's beautiful. Too? What? What? Did they get new merch? Um, well, the Sands of Tatooine stuff we haven't shown. I'm sure people have seen it, but we can show it really quickly. Because these dropped on Tuesday, and we were unable to show you guys. So here's the thing I've noticed. So these are by Loungefly, these ears. Let me scoot these over, because I have a feeling that phone's gonna fall. All right. Almost every pair I've seen has a little, like, bunching right there in the stitching. So some are more dramatic than others. So you can wow. see out here. It's very inconsistent. So finding a good pair is going to be like a lot more difficult. Like almost impossible. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. So I think because of the embroidery, because this is all embroidered along here, as are the moons right there, the writing right there, and all of this right here, it's all embroidered. So I think when the stitching met the embroidery, it like popped it a little bit, and so it caused the bunching. But even here with the stuffing and the embroidery, it's not. Yeah, that one. It's not sitting right. That stuffing's not in there, right? But I don't know if it's the embroidery because. If you if you saw when I was in the Emporium earlier today, these were full, and almost every pair had that right there, and it's literally right where the embroidery meets the leather. So I think, um, I think that's why, honestly. But considering these are by Loungefly, I would think they'd have done a little bit better job on them. I'm kind of disappointed in the quality. They're beautiful, beautiful ears. 
but the execution is not the best. I almost so. wonder what that bunching is, though. It's like that on almost every pair, and it's always right there where the um, the unstitched portion meets the stitching. So, but they're beautiful. This, this is velvet. Um, as you saw, it does have the little plaque that says Star Wars and Loungefly on it. And for the price, because these are more expensive since they're Loungefly, they're $44.99. So you're paying more. I would expect the, the quality execution to be a little bit better, yeah. But they're really pretty ears. You know what? The person working quality check must have been off that day. So here's the matching spirit jersey. Again, really, really pretty. Uh, this is raised in like the puff design. And then you can see the, the landscape there at the bottom. There's a little patch right there that says Star Wars. Didn't you wear one like that to last year's Star Wars event? Not like this. Well, kind of like the same concept. Didn't it have tat tattooing on the bottom, but it was like a white and a purple or a pink and a purple or something like I that? I think I have one like that. I didn't wear Star Wars night, but I have one. And again, they have the landscape there at the bottom on the back, and then this is raised. And then... I don't think they have it here, but there is a matching um, backpack. They had that one in the Emporium, but they might have sold out of it here. And then there's also a matching tumbler, but we don't have the tumbler yet. So. Ada said that wouldn't look so cute on you, Anthony. Talking about that little shirt. I'll use it for my Bachelor on Ice profile picture. Ange says the bunching should be under the bow. Bummer, those are cute. I agree. Oh, didn't the new uh, Eats? Oh, I already um, showed that stuff. It's all over there. I showed it at the Emporium the other day. You can go around and show them, though, if you want. What is this? Is this a dog bed? Uh-huh. Or cat or whatever, but yeah. It's been smushed though. But yeah, it's like a candy apple. I don't think this one's gonna sell. I don't think any of those are gonna sell. They're all they're all flattened. Well, because they've all been like squished in there. But that's what it was. Either that or the ears are too heavy. No, I think it's because they were all smushed in there. Because I saw them before they were out and um, they were holding their shape. They just didn't have very many of them before. I thought you were showing them these, no? Huh? I thought that's why you were coming over here just to show them that stuff. Well, no, I thought uh, I thought a new uh, jersey oh, not had yet. dropped. No, it's, they previewed what's coming next. So next oh. is going to be the mint ice cream Mickey sandwich. So it's not available yet. I didn't know they had a button-up shirt. That one? Yeah. That one came out with, um, like, my fanny pack and all that. It came out then. That looks like it's heavy, though. No, it's super light. Actually, yeah, that is pretty light. Ernesto says, I was born in 1977, five months after the first Star Wars movie came out. That's so cool. Hey, Perrohead. Hola, Coca-Cola. He said, hello, hello, everyone. Look, even those dog beds are flattened. Yeah. So lots of candy. They have more of the spirit jerseys over here, but I don't see anything else. This zip-up hoodie came out a little while ago. I really like this one. This one's $64.99. Oh man, I forgot. 
forgot to show everyone. Okay, oh. so there's new um, Kate Spade Snow White bag that came out. It looks like her face on a mirror. And the matching wallets came out. And there's new bubble bar jewelry that came out. And I completely spaced. I meant to show you guys before I left the park. Um, I don't know if they had it in DCA, but they had it in Disneyland. So they had, I saw these earrings previously on um, Walt Disney World previewed them. And um, they're Donald Duck, and it's like three different faces, and they're dangling earrings. So it's like three different faces in a row. They have those, those are $55. Actually, I have a picture on that phone. <laughs> and then there's also a, um, a ring, and it's Donald's face, and it's a three-piece ring. It's three separate rings. One is the hat, one is the face, like the middle of the face, and the other one I think is like the bill. That one's really cute, that one's $50. So I'll post those on my Instagram probably tonight. <laughs> All right. And then we were looking at these the other night oh as well. Oh my goodness, I can't believe that. There's poo on the shelf. They have the little Simba water bottle holders. Got a little tail. So these ones are free. No, they're not. They are $29.99. And these work like a crossbody type bag. And then there's also um, ones that look like Marie that have a little water bottle as well that are really cute. I can't hear you. And then they also have the fanny pack. This is nylon. But I like the design on the strap. And this could honestly be gender neutral. It's not super femi feminine and it's not super masculine. It, it works both ways, honestly. This one, I want to say it's 29, but don't quote me. Let me see if there's a price tag on another one. Yeah, 29.99 on this one. And then they also have Lion King Crocs. They are 64.99. And the sides have little paw prints on them. Pretty darn cute. <laughs> so now the real question is is have you worn your crocs yet just to go get the mail once or twice count so you've only worn them twice once or twice to get the mail that's not new i almost considered this but If it was the same material as the um, Tomorrowland baseball jersey, then yes. But that's just too thick of a material. It's too heavy. I'm not a baseball person, though, either, so... Yeah, but I mean, for that kind of shirt, you don't want something that's that heavy, because that's not breathable fabric at all. Oh, and they did get the... Um, oh, where would they be? The Small World ears they did get in as well. I'm trying to think where they would be in here. they would have them. Good night, Alex. I know, Sarah Nicole, um, just keep an eye on my uh, Instagram. I'll post pictures on there. Unless you guys want to wait one second, I can put them on the screen, but it's going to take me a minute. Here, let's step out of the way. All right, guys, we might buffer for a sec, but we're not leaving. Just hang tight. Wait, hold on. Where were they? That one. And that one. Oh, and then that one. Okay. 
So I don't know why I didn't think about this. Here are the earrings, guys. So as I said, these are $55. And they're, um, they dangle from each other. So there's like a little hinge in between each head, so they kind of dangle. So they're really, really cute. So those are the earrings. This is the ring, which is technically three rings. The ring is $50. And then these are the Snow White bags. So the one on the mannequin in the top right hand corner and also the bottom left hand corner, that one was new today. And then the wallets that are in the very top um, of the display, there's a card holder that's red and then the actual wallet with a zipper. The zipper pull is a little apple. That's in the um, top right of the shelf. So those were all new today in the jewelry uh, portion of the Emporium. So there you go, guys. Randy said, I did get the Walt Disney World version of that light blue pinstripe jersey only because the Disneyland one um, sold out. Yeah, I really like the jersey. I just, it's way too thick of a material for me personally to wear. Especially because I would probably be wearing it to the park. And as much running around as we do, I can't have something that's that thick of a fabric. some of the new pins so there's in the ice cream character scoop series it's Timon and Pumbaa and then the stitch attack snack series there's stitch and angel with the little lollipops And then the up house, guys. I'm kind of tempted to buy this, but I don't know where I would put it or if I really should spend the money. But this is so cute. It's a little light. I don't know if it'll, yeah, there you go. I absolutely adore this thing. Use it as a desk lamp. So it has different options. This one is $49.99. And it does have a design the entire way around. So if you had it somewhere where you could see it from every direction, it would totally be fine. Use it as a desk lamp. I don't know. And then there's also this one. This is a wall decor. So this balloon lights up on this one. And then it's got the little string right there so you could have it hung up on the wall. That one would make a good night light. It's really cute. But this one is also $49.99. They did restock the up ears over here. So if anyone's still looking for those, they have them. And they also have plenty of the Russell New Emos. Plenty of the what? Oh.
Look, that's me, guys. Yay. He looks too happy to be you. Wow. <laughs> wow. Pretty sure I had a bigger smile than you a little while ago. No. When? <laughs> On the right, there's photo evidence. <laughs> you were trying to eat your hair instead. <laughs> Protein. They still have the Pizza Planet pizza cutter. That is like one of my favorite things. Every time I come in here, I look at one. I just love it. $14.99. I thought it would fit there. What would you do with that, though? It's a pizza cutter. You cut I pizza know, with it. What pizza? When you make pizza at home. I thought you don't cook at home. Um, frozen reheating is not considered cooking. <laughs> the contradictions. Dun dun dun. But I think that's pretty much it for now, guys. To the dress shop? I don't think anything else is open. I mean, we can look and see, but I don't think the dress shop is still open. They did, which is really odd to me, they did move the dress shop, so that is now over in the former art store. Um, <clears throat> oh, but they also took the walls down, so some of the new restaurants are... Uh, Visible? Yes which is pretty interesting. We haven't been over this way in a while. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. The farthest we've been is the entrance into the Grand Californian over here. But there's just so much change happening and there's gonna be even more now with Disney Forward moving forward. Say that three times fast. Right? So yeah, you can see it is oh, all so good. blacked out over here. No more dress shop in this corner. But Marceline's is still here. So you can get your little treats. Wow. Yeah, it looks really nice. They did a good job. That looks way different than it used to. Fancy. Oh, so it's an extension of this place? Yeah. Gotcha. Some so more of the seating up there. Paseo, Tiendita, and Centrico. So three separate dining locations. But from what I understand, they're gonna be a little on the pricier side. Shocker, I know. Disney pricey what? Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, you can't tell me there's no fire pit out here. Oh, we already passed some over there. What? On the other side. Oh, did we? Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I, think you were, I think you were looking at the buildings on that side when we walked by them. So here's where the dress shop was relocated to, guys. We have an uh, Avengers crew neck over here. Oh, it's a spirit jersey. Yeah. It looked thicker than that. Mm -hmm. So here's mm -hmm. the back of it. It says heroes, friends, visionaries, legends, reassembled teammates, Avengers. So 
$79.99 on that one. Interesting, they still they have artwork still. At least right there. Here's one of the small world Dunienberg bags. This one is $228. And this is a crossbody. It doesn't look like it right now. Do they just have most of the strap tucked in there? There's the back. Here's one of the new Snow White Kate Spade bags. This one's my favorite. It's so beautiful. But, oh, it's because of the strap. There's no design on the back, but it is fairly heavy because of this. So this part right here is like the same material as the purse. And then that's like an acrylic. And this feels metal. It's, it's like that nickel. Yeah. So this one is free. No, it is $3.98. Then they've got the larger tote here as well. And here's the back of it. This one is $3.78. Got the backpack here as well. You want to stand this up to the side so they oh, can I'm so sorry. Look um, it's a little smaller than a lounge fly, though, guys. You can see it's narrower, and I don't think it's quite as wide either. But this one is 348. They do still have some of the Sleeping Beauty Dooney and Burks, though. Not a ton of them, but they have this one here. Briar Rose. This one is $248. And they have the matching wallet still. And the wallet is going to be $188. Sarah Nicole, did you see? I put the earrings up on the um, screen a little bit ago. And the ring. I can't believe they stole the Valentine's one. And then they have the Dooney Dogs backpack, finally.
because I've seen this one before. And then they still have the, um, the crew neck that matches it as well. And then they have the tumbler. Tumblr's $24.99. Hey, Vikings girl, welcome in. So here's the Alice in Wonderland Dooney, or one of them at least. Again, crossbody type tote. This one is 248. And they've got it here with the Alice in Wonderland mugs. That trippy design. And these are $19.99. They have the Alice Bucket Hots here. These are reversible. Why did they put that big red dot on her tree? It's supposed to be blush. It looks silly though. $34.99 for this. Like her, that picture would have been so much better without that. Yeah, I know. And then they still have the Cheshire Cat shirt, which I think is just the cutest thing ever. It is cropped though plain on the back and the shirt is free it's free 99 here's some of the other Alice Dooney pieces they have the massive tote right here this one is 328 and then they have the little camera bag. It's not actually a camera bag, but you could use it as a camera bag. That's just what they call it. And this one, this one's my favorite out of the three. Uh, 228 on this one. They still have the matching shorts here for that line. Elastic waist and the shorts are $39.99. They do have pockets too. If I can find my hand, right there. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're so mm -hmm. close Vikings girl. You're in the home stretch. Five more weeks. And they used to have a lot of this line as well that matched the Ginny and Burke Disney ears that came out a while ago. Lots of pieces from this one. Let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five different size bags, and then the wallet. Hey, Eddie, how you doing tonight? still have the debossed uh, Dooney Disney line as well. This one is 268. The next size up one is 348. And the final one is 328. That's Pretty much it, guys. And if you guys ever come to, down here and you want beignets but you can't get in the park, you can go right here. And there's a line over here on the side of this building. And you can go in there and they have beignets in a variety of flavors there. The only thing is they're not Mickey shaped. Oh, Eddie, I hope you're feeling better soon, my friend. A moment of silence, guys. Oh, silence. don't make me cry. 
I miss Tortilla Joe's. But I think that's pretty much it for tonight, guys. There's not a whole lot of other new merch that I can really show you. Um, Is the Lego store still open? I want to go see so. if they got the Lego car models. Knock your socks off. There's still people going in, so. Looks like it. You said knock your socks off? Come on, not you like literally. Legos. Not literally. I still want the Titanic <laughs> and the Millennium Falcon, but the Millennium Falcon so much. Can we drop some hearts in the chat for some of our friends that are going through it right now, not feeling their best? Thank you. Hey, Flash Powder Maniac, welcome in. He said, Eddie Valiant from Who Frame Roger Rabbit. Yeah. Yeah. Not allowed in store. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. No problem. That's weird. They've let people in before the stream, but okay. Um, not tonight, Eddie. We went on Tuesday night. Why is it not saving that? There it is. Hmm. Interesting, Randy. I wonder why. Yeah, that was weird. They don't want to give away their trademark secrets. Wow, it's Legos. Get over yourself. <laughs> It's all right. Not the end of the world. So over here is where Earl of Sandwich is going to be, which I don't like because it's even farther away from where they are now. Is that what? why they're tearing up the ground right here? No, it's over there. See the little thing, the little truck? That's where they're going to be. Permanently? Supposedly. I thought they were actually getting a building that that well, was supposed to be temporary. Well, there's going to be both. There's going to be like a quick service and then there's going to be like a sit down, kind of like what they have now. So I don't know if this is going to stay as the quick service or what, but yeah. But I don't like the fact that it's so far away from everything. But I know that's the goal because it's the least expensive and they're trying to get it as far away from everyone as possible. How are they going to make sandwiches in there? So, this is where it will be. But anyway, guys, that's pretty much it for the night. Oh, do they have the other one? That's what I was looking to see if the art store went in there. It's not there. I was looking to see if they had the other sign. What other sign? That one, that one doesn't make sense to me as much as the other one did. I don't know what you're talking about. Well, if they had it, I'd show you, but I don't think they have it. <laughs> oh, there it is right there. Thingamabob, because of Bob's Burgers, Thingamabob. Oh. That one actually fits, the other ones don't fit. I don't know. Like that robot that was on that one isn't, his name's Bender, so it doesn't, how does he make a T? I don't know. But I think that's gonna be it for us tonight, guys. Thank you for hanging out with us. Keep an eye out for that um, poll on the community tabs. Looks like it's probably gonna end up being Wednesday based on the feedback I've gotten so far. But if anything drastic is on there, then maybe that'll change. 
but I value everyone's input so much. And I hope you all have a wonderful week. If for some odd reason we end up streaming on Saturday, I will be sure to post and let you know, but the plan right now is not to stream, but who knows? Life throws us some curveballs. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you all have had a wonderful night and I look forward to spending some more time with you next week. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Thank you, as always, to my amazing mods. Love you guys so much. Thank you to Anthony for all of his hard work and dedication. Did you want to stop and sign off or you want to keep walking? <laughs> um, you should close out right in front of the Lego store. <laughs> um, if you're not already subscribed to Anthony, be sure to subscribe to his channel. And other than that, I will see you guys soon. Have a wonderful weekend, guys. Appreciate y'all so, so much. Love you. Why are you